In a recent video, we looked at how Darth Vader was responsible for one of the worst military disasters in the history of the Empire. Two years after Palpatine's rise to become Emperor, Vader led an assault on the Separatist holdout found on the planet of Oster. However, due to poor decisions by Vader, including his decision to not join the Imperial invasion forces on the battlefield, the entire Imperial army of stormtroopers and armor were lured into a trap and completely annihilated. Vader was spared any disciplinary actions solely through the defense of a loyal clone trooper, who lied and defended Vader in front of an audience that included Tarkin and the Emperor. But Vader would learn from the mistakes of the first phase in the Shrouded Offensive, unleashing a brutal wave of vengeance against the Separatist holdouts on Oster, retaliating against soldiers and civilians. In this video expose, we'll look at the second phase in the Shrouded Offensive and Vader's actions upon Oster. Phase 2 of the Shrouded Offensive began with Imperial Starfighters descending upon the planet of Oster, of course, led by Vader himself, providing air support for the Empire's military forces below. Vader led the Starfighters towards the city the Separatists were operating out of, hoping to wear down its shields in preparation for a full assault. But before the shield could be taken out, the Empire was ambushed by a wave of Starfighters allied with the Separatists of Oster, causing Vader to have to ascend back towards the Star Destroyer to provide it with some sort of air defense. As Clone Commander Hawk attempted to defend the Stormtroopers below, his V-Wing was shot down, forcing him to crash land upon the planet's surface. When he regained consciousness, Hawk hadn't been rescued by the Empire, but by the Separatist forces he'd been fighting against. Looking upon the injured Separatists and civilians that joined him in the crude medical bay, he realized his enemies were barely an organized military unit at all. As Hawk made his way to what amounted to the Separatist High Command on Oster, he found that they weren't attempting to ruthlessly annihilate the Imperial forces, but hold out long enough to inspire others to take up arms against the Empire as well. Although the Separatist leaders tried to convince Hawk of the benefits of liberty and compassion, the clone commander's loyalty to Vader was paramount. Thus, he infiltrated the Separatist base to sabotage the shields, leaving the entire city vulnerable to Vader and the stormtroopers under his command. As Vader fought his way into the city, Hawk recognized it was a brutal path of carnage. No one was safe from Vader's wrath, as he cut down not just the Separatist military units, but the city's civilian population as well. Although the city had obviously been taken by the Empire, with much of it left in ruin and consumed by fire, Vader nevertheless continued to push forward to find any remaining enemies he could. The actions then performed by Vader would become the thing of nightmares for Hawk, still seeing the images and hearing the screams inflicted by Vader within his dreams. In fact, Hawk could only conclude that Vader was more machine than man, given his complete lack of humanity. Eventually, Vader would find the base of the Separatist holdouts, cutting down its high command before entering the medical bay that had previously assisted Hawk. To the surprise of Vader, the clone commander tried to save the injured that had previously rescued him by getting them to bow before their new lord. But the men and women within the medical bay did the opposite, refusing to bow before Vader, and stood for their beliefs that wanted to see the end of the Empire, just as the Separatist High Command did. At that point, Vader had seen enough, igniting his lightsaber and telling the injured they would follow their leaders into oblivion, as he cut down every last one of them. Although the clone attempted to beg Vader to stop, he eventually realized there was nothing he could do to end the Dark Lord's rampage. And even more painful, his respect for Vader had been an awful error. As Vader finished his ruthless slaughter of the Separatist holdouts, Hawk would ultimately leave the Empire, hoping to again find some of the humanity that had been stripped away by Vader's actions during the Shrouded Offensive. So there we have it, Vader again being Vader. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For Vader's doing what Vader's do.